Welcome back to Megazoid's Hut. As you can see, the Pico pockets are finished. I said I was going for 80s and I've ended up with a bit of 90s, a bit of 70s. And uh, well, I'm happy with it. They look good. Gone for a very smooth back, sanded down the edges, very smooth, and then a textured, textured front, which is the Hilbert curve pattern. I've also gone for color printing, which is the first time I tried color printing. I did uh, have a few issues with that, which probably delayed things a while, but uh, I had to go for inserts rather than printing in place because uh, I was getting. I was getting light bleed or color bleed rather. Uh, plus, obviously, you can get the four colors this way, and you can switch them out quite quite easily. So yeah, the solution uh, solution worked anyway. So these um, these ones are done, and I've also well, let's have a look inside. I mean, the, the on off. That's the extension uh, port. Um, SD card and charging, that's pretty much it. There's no screws in there at the moment because when you're screwing into plastics, you've only got a couple of goes and then it'll start to get loose. So I'm leaving it to the last minute to put the screws in basically. Um, let's have a look at inside. So what I've done is I've had a, I put a bit of silicon sheet. This is half mil silicon sheet. Uh, it's a trick that I saw used on the Ambonic, um, what is it, the new one, the SP, where they've used silicon sheet on top of dome switches. And I thought, oh, yeah, that'll probably dampen it down. So it does dampen down a little bit. Not a, yeah, not a huge di uh, amount. You do still get a bit of click. Uh, these are quite light ones. These are 160 gram force. I can't remember. It says these are the lightest ones I could get. So they, they do feel good. Um, but, you know, you're always going to get a bit of click. And there's the back, no real changes there. But as you notice there, oh, it's a Pico too, yeah, because um, while I was putting this together, Miroslav Nemechek updated the uh, his Pico Lib SDK to support Pico 2. It's fabulous. I got to use my Pico 2. And he's done two versions. One is the for the risk V cores and one for the arm cores. You can only use... Uh, those cores, you know, one you can either use one or the other. So he's updated the um, the Pico Lib SDK to support that, which is fabulous. And uh, this is a lot faster. This is the this is the Pico Two, and let's do the same. So it loads faster, and uh, as you can see there, there's definitely a performance hike with the Pico Two. The only, the only thing in the moment is, is this only came out uh, five days ago. <clears throat> so there's not, everything is very new and there's, uh, you know, there's things that, uh, like I think uh, the Pico 2 could definitely run better video, uh, higher frame rate, very smooth probably. And also um, there's no, it could probably do better, more, more emulation as well. But uh, at the moment there's not a huge amount of stuff that's been developed for it but uh you know at the moment this is the only pico 2 console out there the the only other one that's using the pico 2 is the thummy color uh which is uh, ken burns and uh i mean i think this is actually the better platform really it's got a higher screen resolution better sound more buttons uh you've got the expansion port there I mean, the only thing the Thummy Color... Well, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the Thummy Color. I, mean, I think uh, go out and buy one, definitely. And I think there'll be a lot more development for the Thummy Color than, than the Pico, than the uh, Pico Pad, unfortunately. Um, but, yeah, this is the better platform. Sorry, Ken. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, it's, it's great that uh, I got to use the Pico too. And uh, I'm happy with the design. And... Uh, the speaker worked out well.
I mean, this is actually turned down to about 50%. Because on full volume, it's actually a little bit too loud. <laughs> There's lots of things to play around with on here, and uh, I think it's a great platform. I mean, you could buy, I mean, if you wanted a, a console with a, specifically with an RP2350, you could buy the Thummy Color, or you could buy, actually, the Pico Pad does have some kits. Uh, there's nothing stopping you putting a Pico 2 on one of the Pico Pad kits. And, uh, you know, I'll put the links in the description. But yeah, I really, uh, I really enjoyed this thing. Yeah, the only other thing was, I suppose I'll do another taster of this thing, which hasn't actually got any further, really. I mean, I've got the right screen on there now, and the right battery, and that's it. Um, I haven't started the case because I've only got one set of hands, plus I need to do a revision on this. You can see the screen is not centralised, so I've had to send this off again. Um, second revision, which is... But I suppose I could start on the case now. And I think people do want to see this thing. Anyway, thanks for watching.